due respect, Ms. Mayor, this security is totally inadequate. Doesn't look that way to me. I see uniforms everywhere. You don't see a bulletproof shield on the stage. You don't see anti-sniper teams on these surrounding roofs. You don't see access to these buildings being limited in any way whatsoever. This was all in the security plan. The companion office in D.C. approved your assignment. Obviously, they have confidence in you. Well, obviously, not enough to implement my request. Did they even review my security protocol? The companion personnel made some adjustments. Yeah, well, who authorized those adjustments? I did. Ronald Sandoval, FBI, attaché to the American Companion. The mayor was given strict parameters regarding the size and makeup of the security detail. Why approve me for your operation, then second guess my area of expertise? I understand your concern. Now, there's never been any threat to the Companion's safety, so Da'an feels that the additional precautions are unnecessary. There is no downside to implementing the security procedures. The mandate came directly from Da'an. He doesn't want to put a barrier between himself and the people. He? He, she, neither really applies. Just needs a reference. Uh, fine. You can tell him the next time he's looking for someone to run security, don't call me. You can tell him yourself. He wants to meet with you after the event. What is that? The companion is here. Uh, I got three letters for you. FBI. Can you believe this crowd? Yeah. Definitely a day to tell your kids about. 1,500 miles in four minutes. Just in time. ago they came, forever altering the future of humanity. to work. Um, eyes on the crowd. Come on. Good to see you again, Captain. My pleasure, sir.
I greet you in my native tongue. Since my young days, visions of star space have filled my awareness. Dreams that one day I might grasp at the jewel of a distant world. I feel delighted to find that world so gracefully and vocally inhabited. <laughs> Upon our arriving on Earth, we have felt the pain of those among your species who were without basic sustenance. Your farmers have applied tail on science to ensure that every child on this planet will go to bed with a full stomach. Your physicians have utilized tail on technologies to help combat many human afflictions. Anything going on in your neck of the woods? Absolutely nothing. Except the happiest looking bunch of folks I've ever seen. It would be natural to respond to the tail on arrival with fear and misgiving. But from our first moments on your planet, you have shown open arms and warmth of heart. We wish to nurture the spirit of fellowship between scientists of Earth and Talon. We will join our friend Jonathan Doors to help usher in a new era for humankind. We're almost home. I'm headed for the stage. Copy. I'm proud to announce today a joint venture between Doors International and the Talon Synod. Together, we will create the systems that will take our country, our world, to the new golden age. The Talon Synod dreams that this union will create the forum where human minds can absorb Talon concepts in order to better your world. My belief is not. ETA on medical. Our attending physician will be here in two. I want the shooter. Yeah, so do I. There! I got it! Bobby! Exterior! Hey, go! You guys, fan out! Center three blocks from here. We move them now, we kill them. No response. Paddles.
Clear. Increase. Clear. Increase again. Clear. He's dead. I have no words. Well, take a look at this. A hit like this? This guy should be dead. Well, maybe if we sweep up a little more, we'll find him. Guys! Shooter? Missed his target. That may have thrown him off enough to make a mistake. Find it. No, that's okay. All right. Well, I don't know anything about the insurance. It was a meltdown. Yeah, I'll call you back. Give me some good news. <sighs> yeah, right. We got nothing on the weapon. We pulled some perspiration off the rig. Forensics thinks they might be able to lift a DNA coat, but it's a long shot. Take a walk with me. Look, I want you to call research. Have them pull every article from the last on, couple years that's critical to companions. Maybe it'll point us towards some locals. Got it. Right? Hey, Bob. Look, when we find the shooter, I don't want any calls to anyone except for me. Make sure every member of the detail understands that, OK? Sure. I want to talk to this guy by myself before anyone even knows that we got him in custody. Yeah, sure. I'll take care of it. All right, thanks. Huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, Maggie. Brodsky. The blister. Yeah, 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 sure. Okay. Well, yeah. They want you at the federal building. Who? The on. I greet you with gratitude and humble appreciation, William Boone. Thank you. But I'm sure that Jonathan Doris doesn't have quite the same appreciation for me. I wish only to touch your species. I have now become better educated to the intensities of your world. Your education cost a life. The communion of our two cultures calls out for visionaries who believe that we will both flourish from such a bonding. It is my belief that you, William Boone, might become such a person. We offer the chance to become a voice in the shaping of humanity's future. Thank you, but I am afraid I have to decline your offer. May I know your reasoning? My wife and I are happy here. We're planning on starting a family, and that's where my priority is right now. It's not a time for change. We can work around that. Look, I don't like the way you do business. When I'm given a job, I do it my way. After what I saw today, that's not the way you operate. Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. You are a man of character. I regret your decision, yet I respect its integrity. My hope is that the future offers you a chance to reconsider. Anticipated my escape route. I told you, trying to pull this off in Boone's jurisdiction was a mistake. It doesn't matter anymore. It's only a matter of time before he puts it all together and finds you. What now? Don Sandoval tried to recruit him today. I think he could be the one. I don't know. Eddie, you're his friend. He'll trust you. Besides, you know what the alternative would be. I was best man at his wedding, for God's sakes. 
I won't do it. You won't have to. Captain Boone, your wife is here. Thanks. How are you doing? All right. Are you all right? Eddie killed Jonathan Doors. What? Yeah, I came around the back of that building. He was coming down the side on some sort of pre-rigged wire he had set up. That's impossible. It happened. We looked right at each other. I just got back from searching his house. He's not coming back. But Eddie's not a killer, Will. What reason could he possibly have to kill Da'an? I don't know. Da'an offered me a job today. Maybe Eddie knew about that. Wait, the companions want you to work with them? Yeah, I told them no. Without even discussing it with me? I told them that we were planning on starting a family and that relocation was not a part of the program. We can start a family anywhere. Any time, for that matter. Not any time. I don't understand your problem with the companions. My God, Will, they have wiped out hunger around the world. Look at the diseases they've helped us eliminate. I've told you, Katie, I don't trust anyone or anything when I don't understand what their motivations are, and I never will. I know. It always comes back to that for you, doesn't it? Why can't you just trust? I've got to get back to finding Eddie and withholding evidence in a murder Wait, investigation. Don't leave me like that. You are the most stubborn man I think I have ever known. But then, I have never met anyone with a stronger moral compass than you. Trust in that. Captain Boone? Yeah. Mayor Ruiz is here to see you. Yeah, send her in. I'll need those documents ready for signature, right. and uh, I shouldn't be long. Okay. Ms. Mayor? How you holding up, Will? Uh, some days will be good, some will be bad. I understand. 
Have a seat? No, thank you. I got a call yesterday. Apparently, Don offered you a position working with the Companions. Yes, I turned him down. I know. The governor's a personal friend of President Thompson. I guess Thompson called, and the governor is requesting that you reconsider. This is really important to them? Seems to be. I'd really hate to lose you, Will, but you got some real heavy hitters who want you. <laughs> you should hear them out. No, nah, it's just funny. Kate said the same thing. When do they want to see me? Actually, if you're agreeable, they sent a pilot to take you now. Captain Lily Marquette. How long is the pilot certification program for interdimensional flight? I, uh, I actually helped create the program. Oh, wow. Designed the shield interface, which you're about to see once we get into flight. Wow. Proceed. Thanks. Making the jump to interdimensional, I think you'll enjoy this. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's a strange feeling. Wow, easy. Coming out. I'm looking forward to the trip back. Greetings, William Boone. Greetings to you, Don. This... This is extraordinary. I am glad it pleases you. My feelings of sympathy go to you. Do you feel grief as we do? For Talons, there is no fear in naturally passing to the next level. Yet I observe humanity, and I am now closer to an understanding of your suffering. My skepticism remains. I'm here only because my wife would have wanted me to give you a fair hearing. I respect the wisdom of your wife. Please address me with your concerns. All right. The most basic one. Why have the Talons come to Earth? Your planet is at an evolutionary crossroads. The human species has arrived at this crucial moment when you must take the next step into uncertain frontiers. Our Talon race evolves on a different path. Our experience here feeds us knowledge about the forces that will bear upon us in our evolutionary course. The job, what exactly do you have in mind? You would be the commander of security and interspecies relations. You will represent companion interests. I consider this a proud association for the Talon Synod. There is another inducement. In my brain, the Companions have implanted a cyber virus, a CVI, half computer chip, half Talon germ. You let them put something in your head? <laughs> Most people only use 30% of their brain. So it increases basic intelligence as well as memory, recall? It gives you more than just recall. It puts you in your memory. You will never be without your wife, Boone. Never. I'll give you your offer. Serious consideration, Don.
We anticipate your response with high hopes. The death of Boone's wife has opened his willingness to contemplate the next step in his personal evolution. It is a sad irony. It's one more person you need to see. Sandoval didn't mention any more appointments. A friend of mine always says to keep an open mind. There's nothing more I can say. Come with me if you want to. It's your choice. Then let's go. Drink? Not tonight. He'll be here soon. Sorry about Kate. Why did you take up murder as a profession, Eddie? Believe me, it's not what it seems. Oh, Eddie. Eddie, you're gonna have to do a whole lot better than that. Is this good enough, Mr. Boone? I'm glad to see you didn't die on my watch. Or was it your miraculous medical care that revived him? It wasn't easy staging my own death or walking away from $32 billion. So why did you? Simple. I want to know why the companions are here. And it's easier to do that if you're dead, right? Exactly. My profile was too high. I need to be able to operate freely. I'm committed to this will. So is everyone else in this room. And I know you've had your own doubts about the companions. No one's asking questions anymore. We've become sheep. And I don't trust the shepherds. When you recognized Ed, you moved our timetable up. We need to move now. I don't need to make any moves. I do have questions. I'll figure out the answers on my own. You better start with your wife. Meaning? The Companions killed Kate. You turned down their offer. That same night, Kate was killed. Two days later, they're back at your doorstep. You want to fight back? Join us. I'm listening. I'm sure Da'an didn't tell you everything about the CVIs. They do increase brain function. However, they also alter your motivational imperative in the Companion's favor. So your priorities get rearranged, and the Companions go right to the top of your agenda. I've re-engineered one of the cyberviruses and removed what I believe to be the imperative. But the Companions won't know that. You'll be in their inner circle. The problem is, we don't have the means to test the re-engineered implant. Can't guarantee it works. I could end up like Sandoval. Kate wasn't the first, and she won't be the last. This is your chance to help a lot of people. Two conditions. Yes. Kate's murder is mine. 
What else? If I become a full implant, your word, you kill me. That's been taken care of, Mr. Boone. Dr. Bellman has her orders. It's imperative the cyber virus be placed in an exact location. This grip will prevent any movement of your head. No kidding. has been delivered. Pulse rate is heightened, but within anticipated parameters. I'll start pre-consciousness calibrations immediately. CVI is everything you said it would be. You must master the talents of your implant. Let it guide you to a more profound phase of awareness. We have assigned Captain Marquette as your second in command. All right. Let us seal the completion of our union. Take off your jacket, please.
roll up your right sleeve, please. This scroll will become an appendage of your central nervous system. Controlled through your CVI. There will be an initial discomfort. Respect the life force within your Skrill boon. Much of what it bears derives from the intensity of your essence. May I? We found something. You need to come right away. Be there in five. I'll join you. What's up? Bad news, Will. Okay, guys. Thanks. Give us a minute, will you? It's Eddie Jordan. There's more, Will. Forensics came back in the perspiration. Eddie Jordan killed Jonathan Doors. You're gonna have to choose your friends very carefully now, boo. Somehow, I don't think that's gonna be a problem. It doesn't matter. Doors can't be trusted. At this point, I can't be sure about anyone, including you. I'm gonna choose to forget you just said that. He couldn't even protect Eddie. Just reserve your judgment until you talk to Doors. Convince me otherwise. I don't have to convince you of anything. I let my actions speak for themselves. Doors can speak for himself. Where is he? I'll get word to him. Boom. You don't know me yet. But once you do, you'll never question my loyalty again. And I look forward to getting to know you. I'll give you some time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 